Hey guys, Brian from California Airsoft, and today I'm going to review the G&G M14 HBA. Uh, this is the bronze version, which I think is the, probably the best looking version of this gun, other than the, probably the classic black, or some of the painted ones I've seen from uh, many different people. This gun is one of my favorite guns. It's very long. With the stock fully extended, uh, I'm about 5'9", 5'10", and this gun does go up to my chest when it's fully extended. The body is a really, really sturdy make. There's not really much creaks to it, which is awesome because it is a full metal body other than the polymer parts such as the grip right here, the cheek rest on the stock, and the butt pad is actually rubber. Again, also the pistol grip is the hard polymer as well. And you don't gotta worry because it's the G&G hard polymer, which is pretty awesome. Now, the barrel of this gun can be uh, removed just you gotta twist this off and which is basically pretty easy I'm not gonna show you how because I can't um, now this is a long version the short version is this piece of the gun will be down here other than this extra length of barrel uh, although the barrel and internals do stop right here it's still actually a pretty pretty decently long gun it the barrel the inner barrel should probably stop from between right here or here due to the fact that um, it should match the short one as well as the long one the battery compartment is under this handguard. I will get back to that in a minute because it takes a couple minutes to take off. The mag on this is a high cap mag, uh, which winds down at the bottom. It's a G&G standard high cap mag. This holds about 400 rounds. You just flip up in the trap door right there, put your BBs in, and then wind it up right here, just like any other high cap mag. The stock can be adjusted. There is a lever or a button that is just under the cheek rest that can actually push down and then it's kind of a pain but you push down and then you pull. Now that's as far as you can extend it which I think is more than enough. Now what I like about this gun too is that the cheek rest actually can go up to various heights. Now it took me a minute to figure it out but I actually ended up doing figuring it out. Uh, there is this little lever right here on the gun. Now you just pull that up and that and then that's step one. Now I had to actually get like an Allen key or something, but I actually had to go and there's this little button right here that I actually had to push down. And this is where it kind of gets tricky. You have to somehow maneuver it to where the button is pressed down as well as um, the actual cheek rest needs to move as well, but with the the Allen key being right there, it's going to stop. Now, see, it went up just one. You can keep going up and up and up and up. It actually goes pretty high, but I think anything higher than that is kind of weird because you'll be looking over your, your optic anyways. So that's how you basically do it. In the same way it's going down, you just push it in, push down, push in, push down, push in, push down, push in, push down. Just like that. Then lock it into place. Okay? Um, Cool features on this gun, uh, it has a f huge rail on the top, the top portion of this gun, this is the huge rail on the top portion. And the cool thing is that I like a lot is that G&G incorporated this small rail right here so you don't have a huge gap between where you can put your, um, your scope rings at so you have a good solid base to where your scope can go. Now G&G also incorporated this small rail system here in the back. I'm not too sure what you would be able to put right here. Uh, maybe some sort of like heartbeat sensor or something, but that's for your die-hard players and those are actually really expensive. This gun only shoots in uh, semi-automatic. I know some M14s do shoot full auto by s spinning this little lever right here. But see, as you can see, it doesn't move. It just moves with that. So I may be wrong, I may be wrong, so if you do know that this does fire in fully automatic, please comment in the, comment in the uh, spots below and please tell me. Uh, this gun features two points of attachment for your slings, so right here in the rear, it goes on the left or the right side of the gun, and up here in the front of the gun, right here on the left side of the gun, but it's not on the right. I'm sure there's a way where you can be able to move it to the right, but you might have to use the an Allen key to get them on that side. Uh, the 
cool part about this is how real it sounds. When you want to expose your hop up, all you got to do is pull back the charging handle and it's just right here. You can see it has your plus and minus on your hop up and adjust it however you want to. And it's a very solid hop up. It does click and it actually is very accurate. Now the cool part about this gun is the sounds it makes when you rack it back. To me that just makes the gun totally worth it. I would do it in the middle of a battle even though it has really no point. It's just for me and I just like going to do that. So this gun is on the higher end side of the price range. This gun does go for $550 on our website. Uh, it does come with a mag but it does not come with a battery or charger so you're going to have to buy that separately. The battery that it does take, which I'll show you actually how to get to the battery compartment right now. It's very simple, but it kind of takes a minute. Is you have to unscrew six hex keys, which should come off fairly easy. There's one. Two. This would be kind of a pain if you have to change a battery in the middle of a game. Or you might actually even have to exit the field to do this. So again, same thing on the other side. Just these three. I do believe the Allen key is included with included with the gun, uh, along with a, a thousand rounds of a thousand round pack of BBs from G and G, which I think is pretty cool, and a manufacturer warranty. Contact G and G if you have any problems with their products, and I'm very sure that they will help you out with whatever you need. This one's being a pain. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's the last screw I needed to take off. Now, you just flip it over like this, grab it, push. It's kind of a pain. Push up and pull. We're exposing your large to me a plug. Now, it is a large battery, so, or a large plug to a battery, so you might need to get an adapter to fit. This gun, I'm sure, can handle like a LiPo, maybe a small one, like a 7.4. Uh, but I would try to stick with the 9.6. Uh, style batteries, maybe an 8.4, but I think the 8.4 might be a little too weak. But other than that, it has a bottom rail for wherever you want to put your bipods on, rails on either side of the the uh, foregrip, and rail on this side. Now I'm done talking about it because I basically told you, oh, oh, one more thing. The safety on this weapon is actually right here next to your trigger. So whenever you want to shoot, you just push it forward, and you're ready to go, and then push it back which I think is actually a cool feature because it's not really too far out of the way and it's just right there. Your mag release is right here. It's just like a um, almost like an AK kind of mag release. You rock the mag in, click it in, when you're ready to you just push it towards the mag and you pull it out. As simple as that, simple as that. So let's go ahead and go shoot this and have some fun. Alright. <laughs> 